Hi everyone, it's Damon from your spreadsheets. Today we're going to look at the bar bending shade of spreadsheet, the British standard BS8666 version 2020. This standard was published in December 2020 and supersedes the 2005 version. First, enter side details in the spreadsheet header, like drawing status, drawing number, sheet number and so on. Drawing status letters are given at the bottom here, as per the BS8666. The section and the location cells are editable so you can change these to say member, level or pool number. BS8666 is based on shape codes as opposed to shape diagrams. These shape codes are very well known in the UK, but just in case you forget one, these are included in this tab for your convenience. Let's switch back to the schedule sheet. When you click a cell in the shape code column, a selection window pops up. This includes all shapes covered by BS8666 and also has the option to draw or insert shape code 99 which is for anything not covered by the standard. This window makes the selection of a shape code quick and convenient. Before we go through the schedule itself, let's have a quick look at the settings. Here we have several options. The first one controls whether the shape code selection window we just saw is to pop up when you click within the shape code column. The second one allows you to auto jump to the next input cell. This makes use of the spreadsheet much faster. And the last checkbox is to do with extra dimensions required for some shape codes. In version 2020 of BS8666, additional dimensions have been introduced for bars with bends not at right angles, like length D for shape code 14 or 15, or length E for shape code 24 or 26 and so on. But don't worry, this spreadsheet can calculate these extra dimensions for you. Taking shape code 15 as an example, if you have the option diagonal selected and enter length A and B, then the spreadsheet will automatically calculate length D for you. We'll try that in a minute. Lastly, there's a button to refresh conditional formatting, just in case you were dragging cells rather than pasting as values. However, to avoid unexpected results, you should always use the paste as values option. To show how easy it is to use this spreadsheet, I will detail the U bar. I enter member name, bar mark number, bar type, and bar diameter. Say we have 10 pile cups with 50 bars each. So I enter 10 as number of members and 50 as number of bars in each member. It makes a total of 500 bars. Since I have the auto jump and the pop-up options enabled in the settings, on pressing the enter key I will be directed to the shape code column and the shape code selection window will pop up. I'm detailing a U bar so I click shape code 21. It then auto jumps to the next input cell. Please notice how the spreadsheet highlights the required input cells for this shape code. If you select a different shape code, then different input cells will be highlighted. For example, if I click shape code 41, then 5 cells are highlighted. This makes it much easier to detail correct bends. I'll select shape code 21 again. Also please note that minimum lengths are already given in the main table, and if you enter a length shorter than that, then you'll get this error. I'll correct this now. Next, I entered the other two lengths for the shape code. The bar has been detailed and the spreadsheet shows the bar weight here. Let's now detail a bar with bends not at right angles, so a bar where the extra dimension is required. I'll use shape code 15 as an example. You will notice that the fill color of length D is slightly lighter than length A and B. This indicates the extra dimension. You can enter it manually or let the spreadsheet calculate it for you. I enter length A and B and the spreadsheet automatically calculates length D. Nice and easy. Now I'll enter length C to complete detailing the bar. If you want to detail a bar that is not covered by BSA 666, then click the Import Draw button here. A drawing board will appear. Here you can easily import an image from your personal database or simply draw the required shape. To import an image, click the Import from File button, then select your file. If the image is too big, it will be resized automatically to something closer to the drawing area. You can also manually resize it or crop it as required. At the top here, you can change the drawing area size. The first figure represents number of columns in the schedule sheet, and the second figure represents number of rows. For this image, I'll go with 5 rows. Now I'll add some annotations using the available drawing tools. Once done, just hit the Copy to Schedule button and the image will be copied to the schedule sheet. If you want to draw a bar yourself, then for your convenience a number of predefined elements are available in this area. Or you can use Excel's shape menu if that's easier. I'll draw something now using the drawing tools. If you use the dimension tool, then you can easily resize it, rotate it, 
change font formatting like size, alignment, color, and so on. The same applies if you use the text tool. And for the other drawing tools, you can change element color, add shading, and so on. You do that in the Shape Format tab. Once I'm done, I click the Copy to Schedule button, and the image is copied to the Schedule sheet. When you detail Shape Group 99, make sure to enter relevant bends, and enter total bar length in the Override Length column here. This length is used to calculate the bar weight. If this cell is left a blank, then the spreadsheet shows question marks, here and here. This only applies to Shape Group 99. If you want to change the location of inserted bar diagram, then click it and a window will appear with several options. You can move the diagram up, down, copy it to the clipboard or delete it. If you think you will want to reuse a drawn diagram in the future, use the copy button. Then just save it using paint or similar application. By doing so you can create your library of shape codes 99. Then the next time you want to detail the same bar, you just import the image from your library. Now let's add more sheets. To insert a new schedule, click the Insert Sheet button. This is a copy of the previous schedule. If you want to clear entries, just click the Clear Entries button here. You change sheet name by clicking this button, and delete it with this button. Sometimes you need to merge cells to add a note. For example, for bar marker 1, refer to sketch X, Y, and Z. You can do it by using this Merge and Merge button. First click a cell within the schedule, and then click the Merge button. Merge cells are always from this column to this column. And to unmerge, click the button again. The last sheet we're going to look at is the bar weights sheet. The spreadsheet sums bar weights from all schedule sheets. These are represented per bar diameter. The spreadsheet allows you to use bar diameters that are not covered in BS8666. For example, bar diameter 22 is used in Singapore and they use BS8666. The spreadsheet covers bar diameters from 6 to 50. If you want to send an editable file to your client, use the export all button here. A new workbook will be created. To print the schedule, click the print me button or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl P. A dedicated printing window will pop up. You can print the current schedule only or all schedules. You also have the option to print the bar weights page. If you want to, you change the default printer here. And that's all. I hope you will find this spreadsheet useful. To see more interesting spreadsheets, Go to yourspreadsheets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.